Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today, I thought we would take our experiments to The Sims 2. So I'm basically just gonna replicate the same experiment I did in The Sims 3 in this game. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it in the video description and up at the white box at the top of the screen now. But basically, in The Sims 3, we took two Sims who were very different, with different traits, and we put them in identical homes and let them, and just observed them for 24 hours, and then we observed them together for 24 hours. We didn't intervene, we didn't get in the way, it was all about how they autonomously behave. Basically to see how much personality Sims really have. So we're going to be doing the same thing. I have two Sims here. They're going to spend 24 hours in two separate little homes, identical homes, and then they'll spend 24 hours together, and we'll see how they behave. So first off, I'll introduce you to our Sims. First off, we have Louisa. So as you know, the Sims in The Sims 2 don't have traits, but they do have some element of personality, usually from their star signs. So... Louisa, for instance, is very sloppy. She's not neat. She's super outgoing. She's very lazy, very playful, but she's quite nice. She has the pleasure aspiration, and I did just so happen to give these Sims this, the kind of turn-offs and turn-ons that would make them attracted to each other, just to see if they would autonomously, you know, get it on. So that's Louisa. She's quite sloppy. She's nice, playful but she's going to be the gross one out of the two. And then we have Hank. Hank is very neat. He's a bit on the shy side. He's quite active. He's a bit more serious. He's nowhere near as playful as Louisa is. And he's kind of in the middle between grouchy and nice. I didn't want him to be completely mean. His aspiration is romance. He wants to find the love of his life. And his turn-ons just so happen to be what Louisa is. So... Let's see how we get on, shall we? Let's move them in to their uh, testing environment. Okay, so these are their living quarters. I tried to give them a few activities. They each have a bed, a keg, drum kit, easel, bookcase, TV, although that might be taken away. We'll have to wait and see how they behave just based off of how <laughs> The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 went. They have an exercise machine and everything they need to keep themselves alive. So, first things first, let's get you guys in your little houses and you can uh, get used to living alone for 24 hours. Just delete these pesky doors. And then we'll just see how you guys interact together. So, it's about 9 a.m. on Monday, so you're on your own until Tuesday. They both instantly went for the drum kit. <laughs> She's having a whale of a time. Look at the smile on her face. She is loving every minute of this. Oh, good for you, Louisa. I wonder if Hank is having an equally wonderful time. He is. Look at his little face. Um, also, just like I did with The Sims 3, I'm not going to be intervening much. So most of this is just going to be based off of their autonomy, which means they are responsible for their needs. So if they starve themselves and die, well, that's just the end of the experiment. <laughs> so hopefully you guys don't spend the entire time just playing the drums. They're pretty good at playing the drums though. I'm hearing some sick beats. Hey neighbours, you may as well go home. There's really no point in you guys hanging around here. We're not coming out for anyone. This sim has some mad drumming skills. Look at her go. It is like 2pm though guys. You've been drumming for like six hours with no break oh we have some movement hank's taking a break to take a dump and i can hear that louisa is still just drumming so let's see what hank decides to do next is he just going to take himself back to the drum kit i wonder surely not no he's going to go get himself some some punch some fruit punch never too early to start drinking mate don't worry about it so what's the plan? I can hear that the drumming has stopped, so I think Louisa, yeah, Louisa's also using the toilet. I wonder if she'll do exactly the same as Hank and go straight to the punch bowl. Don't look at me like that. Oh, Louisa's going to have a nice relaxing bath. Oh, well, so you should. You should enjoy your bubble bath, Louisa. You've been working hard all day at that drum kit. It's funny how they both have different ways to unwind. Louisa's way to unwind is to have a nice relaxing bubble bath. And Hanks is to just get trashed. I mean, he is, he's really making his way through the, the juice keg. 
It's got a few cups on the floor. Great. I am very interested to see how they interact with each other. <laughs> You're just going to get yourself another drink? Yeah, of course you are. Okay. Okay. Aw, she was singing a little song in the bath. Oh, okay. So, Hank's just finished his, what, fourth cup? Oh, yeah, going straight back. Okay. And I guess Louise is following suit. She's also going to get herself a drink. So, I don't know if I was quick enough to catch that, but instead of pouring herself a cup... Louisa just took the hose and sprayed it directly in her mouth and then, like, gargled it. Jesus, Louisa, you fucking animal. I guess she was the slobby one, so... Did I not give them a trash can? I'll give them a trash can just to see who would tidy up and who wouldn't. Okay, you both have trash cans now, but you still decided to throw it on the floor and then look at me. I know you want some social interaction, but you only have to wait, like till tomorrow. She's complaining that I didn't buy her a nice enough trash can. And Hank is watching uh, a blank TV screen. You enjoying that, Hank? You enjoying watching, like, nothing? Are you so drunk you don't even realise there's nothing on the TV? Okay, you realised. Great. What are we watching, Hank? What is this? Like, friends? Oh, okay. You've had enough. Fine. What's Louisa doing? Oh, she's just complaining and looking at me because she wants to hang out with her friends more. You can fill your social need tomorrow, Louisa. Just chill out. God, such a bitch. What are we making? I mean, you're making a mess, whatever you're doing. Something that requires a saucepan. Is it mac and cheese? Oh, that looks pretty mac and cheesy to me. I think she's making mac and cheese. Try not to start a fire. I think Hank is cooking as well. Are you also making mac and cheese? Yeah. Do you really need a bowl that big, though? You really needed all that? Aww. Okay, well, Hank has obviously developed an imaginary friend because he served up dinner for him and his imaginary friend. Hank, that is very sweet, although you are a bit too old to be having imaginary friends. But, you know, you do you. Whoops, is it snowing inside? Did I forget to give them roofs? Okay, probably I should give them a roof. There we go, you got roofs. Oh, Louisa also has an imaginary friend. She's reacting to her first snow. Are you going to go to bed? Good idea. And then when you wake up, you'll have a friend. You'll have a little buddy. Good night, Louisa. Sweet dreams. What's Hank doing? Oh, not really doing anything? You smelling the food. Oh, okay. That was a glitch. So what's the plan, Hank? Are we going to bed or what's the deal? We're just going to keep eating. Oh, you can stack... Oh, well, I mean, you can stack plates on top of each other anyway, actually. Just doing a bit of washing up. Oh, hey, I'm inside the fridge! Oh, check it out! Oh. I think Hank is going to bed as well. Yeah. He's got his little gym jammers on, so... Okay, guys, well, sweet dreams, I guess, until the morning, when you guys are put together. How on earth will you keep each other warm in this blistery storm? Oh, Louise is up. It's only like 1am though, Louisa. I know your social need is low, but you don't have long before you guys are put together and then you'll be complaining of too much socialization. Oh wow, you are that, that unhappy, huh? Just drinking directly from the cake. <laughs> we might even have a visit from the social bunny before we even get to day two. You'll be all right. You just drink your juice. I know, I know. You want to talk to someone, I know. Jesus, Louisa, it's not even been 24 hours. I noticed she didn't clean up any of the mac and cheese, so it's going all smelly and covered in flies. I wonder if Hank cleaned up his. No, he didn't. Huh. And he's the one that's, like, really neat. Yeah, Hank wants some socialization too. Oh, dear. We got a visit from the social bunny. He's come to help you, Louisa. You'll be okay. I can't believe things have got this desperate after only, like, less than 24 hours since you came out of cast, Louisa. Don't look at me like that. You did this. Aww. It's Hank. Yeah, Hank's having a bath. He opted out of the bubbles. He didn't want to have a relaxing bubble bath. He just wanted a bath bath. Just plain water, nothing else. Oh, and Louisa's gone back to the drums. See, writer's rain, just like that. No problem. Back to the drinking, huh? Yeah, don't I know it, mate, huh? 
They just seem... This experiment seems more sad for some reason. I feel more empathy for these Sims. Like, they seem to have really been having a hard time living alone. The Sims 4 Sims were completely nonplussed. Like, they really didn't care that they were living alone. And The Sims 3 was kind of similar. But The Sims and The Sims 2, like, they... They just seem miserable. I feel kind of mean. You gonna do some painting? That'll make you feel good. Autonomously gone to do some painting. It's nice that uh, Sims and The Sims 2 are taking it upon themselves to do creative activities that build skills. They did do it in The Sims 4 and The Sims 3, but I feel like it's quite good. Within the first 24 hours, they've both picked up an instrument. One of them's painting. What are you painting there, Hank? So I'm thinking probably what I'll do is I will put them both in Hank's room and see how they, how they deal. Louise is just chilling in front of the TV. Didn't want to get dressed today. She just looks pissed off, doesn't she? She just looks really angry. Really angry about life. It's just, I feel like she's angry at me. Louisa, you are not going to eat that gone off mac and cheese covered in flies. Seriously. Oh, gross. Oh, you are gross. You fucking animal. Look at her go at it. Oh, gross. Jesus, Louisa. Get a grip. Oh, look at you doing the cleaning, cleaning the counters. Hank's sort of starting to get towards the level of desperation for a social need. I notice he's cleaned up his bowls now. Still hasn't cleaned up his many cups, but I guess he's just drinking the days away. Louisa is actually cleaning up after herself, despite the fact that she has, like, no neatness whatsoever. Yeah, she's very, very sloppy. Oh, that sounds like a social bunny gone to go visit Hank. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, I didn't know Sims did this. I guess if you're too lazy for a bath, you can just strip off and wash yourself with a sponge with the sink. <laughs> really, Louisa? Really? I wonder if she'll do that when she's sharing a place with Hank. Just get completely in the buff. Just, yeah, it's normal. Well, I suppose at least you're kind of clean now. Right, it's approaching 9am. I'm going to give you your doors back and we're going to put you two together. So this will be the point where I intervene. I'm just going to take control for a minute just to get Louisa in this room. Louisa, stop drumming. Louisa, I am seriously, come on. Okay, our subject is now leaving her room to enter into Hank's. Let's see what her first impression is. <laughs> the snow coming through the door. All right, you guys are together. Stop looking at me, Louisa. Just... Oh, she's got a cross through Hank's face. She doesn't seem very impressed. Probably because he's using the remote and he's putting the football on while she's just trying to sit down. So, so far, they've not even acknowledged each other. Not even waved at each other. Just seem to be acting like the other one isn't there, I guess. She doesn't seem very impressed by what's on the TV, but Hank seems like he's not going to budge. She's thinking she's noticed him, and she's gone to go get a drink. Again, spraying directly into her mouth. You guys actually going to talk to each other? Or are you just going to pretend that the other one isn't there? Doing a little dance? You happy now? I mean, you have both been craving socialization, and yet you barely acknowledge each other. Where are you going, Louisa? You gonna go take a crap? Okay. Starting to think maybe the punch was a bad idea. Loads of red cups. And from what I know about America, if it's a red cup, it means alcohol is in it. The fuck is that? I mean, Louisa does wash a lot, which is good. This is her second bath, and she had a sink wash. For someone who's very sloppy, it's quite a lot of washing. Oh, back to the drum kit, okay. Oh, the social bunny's here. Hank's really not having a good time because he's not very comfortable. I mean, not really that much is happening, to be honest. I feel like maybe they'll just go about their business trying to fulfill their needs around each other without actually talking to each other that much. Which is weird because they should be attracted to each other. But they're not. How are their skills doing? Well, Hank has built four creative skills. And Louisa has gained six. And I think Hank's going to try and get some sleep while Louisa keeps him awake with her drumming. This definitely would not fly in The Sims 1. Sims 1 would be 
Sims would be waking up and complaining about the noise. Sims in The Sims 1 can't even sleep when the TV is on. Okay, well now you're very tired, so what are you going to do? You're just going to fall asleep on the floor? You're going to get in with Hank? It's almost as if she heard me, like, oh, gross, no. Well, there's a sofa here. You can, ca you can nap on the sofa. Oh, it's the social bunny again. Interesting that you are in a house with another sim, and yet you still do not socialise to the point where you need the social bunny. So I guess you guys are just playing a little punching game. That is interesting. Usually when sims are put together, they at least talk to each other. These two, for some reason, they just do not seem to like each other. Oh, she's just going to sleep on the floor. Okay. You could have... Yeah, the option is here to nap. You could have had a nap on the sofa. Well, Hank's awake. Aww. He's feeling sorry for her. Well, Hank, you could do you both a favour and rustle up some breakfast, maybe. In fairness, I did think something like this would happen, because I do think, even though Sims in The Sims 2 are a lot more detailed, they're not as smart in terms of fulfilling their needs. So they'll, like, do the basics, like they'll go to bed when they're tired, they'll cook food- oh shit. And I can't even give them a door, so that's it now. They're basically dead. This looks like trouble. I can't get to the fire. Yeah, I know you can't. I know you can't. I mean, I can try and get them to extinguish it themselves, but <laughs> this might be the end of the experiment. Unless Louisa can save the day, we might have two dead sims on our hands. Does look like it's spreading pretty quickly. Could it be over for these two experimental sims? These two little test subjects? I mean, Hank, you could also try and extinguish the fire, too. I don't know, it looks like Louisa's kind of got it under control. Well done, Louisa. Looks like the fireman and the fire truck gotta run. Please be more careful next time. Yeah, look, I hope you were. Oh, so the pot is still smoking, look. <laughs> Louisa just gave Hank a look, like that was your fault. Is anyone gonna do anything about the smoking pot over there? Or are you, are you, do you both just now have a death wish? Oh, it looks like, oh. Hank tried to admire her for her bravery, and she was like, oh no. Well, it took a crisis, but they are chatting. They do say people come together in times of hardship. And it looks like, you know, that fire did some good. Because now they're actually talking to each other. I am a bit concerned that if no one gets that mac and cheese, we might end up with another fire, though. So, I guess you, you guys just do you. Maybe you want to die. Oh, she's so sad. You have everything you need. Be cheered up. Aww. Oh, she's just not taking it. She's just not very happy at all. What's wrong? Do you guys need a new stove or something? There you go. Brand new kitchen stove. So you can feed yourself now. Unless you're just too scared to set the house on fire again. They've really not been that great at keeping themselves happy. Or fulfilling their needs. But, you know, they could have died, and they survived, so I guess that says something to their will to live. Oh, she had a nightmare. That's funny. She was trying to sleep, and she's got low aspirations, so she woke up with a nightmare. Oh, she had another nightmare. She literally woke up shouting out. I mean, it's up to you how happy you are. You can try and make yourself happy, Louisa. And looks like Hank's braving the kitchen again, or is he just eating out of the fridge? Oh, I think he was just eating out of the fridge. He's too scared now to, to cook in case he starts a fire. <laughs> Maybe they are smarter in The Sims 2. Because if it were The Sims 4 and they started a fire, they would think nothing of being like, oh, do it again. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe The Sims in The Sims 2, are, like, when something bad happens, they're just scarred for life. The Sims 2 feels a, a lot more bleak. Because it feels more realistic. Like, these Sims seem genuinely unhappy. Although, saying that, Hank is thriving. Like, his aspiration is in the green. He's doing things that fulfill his wants. <laughs> he wants to learn physiology. Hank seems to be pretty good at fulfilling his, uh, his needs most of the time. Are you going to brave the stove now? No, still not ready to brave the stove. Okay. You guys only have a few hours left. You have, like, four hours left. You know what I might do? I might do a part two of this where 
these two are actually together and like, you know, into each other. Oh, he served up some cereal. He wanted to make food, but nothing that involved the stove. Yeah, I might do another experiment where these two are actually like in love with each other and see how they interact as like a couple. There's such a difference in eating styles. <laughs> one of them eats like a pig, the other one uses a spoon. Well, at least we're getting some conversation in. Also, Louisa, I was wrong about you. I commended your hygienic ways, but actually your hygiene bar has been low for a long time now and you haven't done anything about it. So perhaps I was wrong. Hank's a good guy, man. He's a really nice guy. I wouldn't mind being locked up with Hank. He's just, he's had empathy for her. He's made food for her. He's tried to cheer her up. Whereas Louisa has just been, a, she's been a bit of a bitch, really. She has. Call a spade a spade. That is what she has been doing. He's even washing her bowl up for her. She couldn't, she couldn't give a crap. She would rather just take a crap and not worry about what he's doing. I see you, Hank. You're a good guy. You're a nice guy. Keeping the environment clean, doing your bit. Whereas all Louisa does is just fucking complain. <laughs> and instead of having a bath, she's just going to have another sponge wash. This is a guy who likes to look on the bright side of things. It also looks like he's watching her, which he can't be because there's a wall in between, but it was a bit creepy. She's getting a lot happier now too. Well, we've passed 9am, which means that's the end of the experiment. So I'm going to end this episode here. I think overall, they, they both had quite individual experiences, I think. Neither of them used the workout machine, but they did... What the fuck is a penguin doing outside? Okay. But they did both use, like, other... Pretty much everything else. I do think I will revisit this couple. Um, and I'll make them a couple just to observe how they behave as a couple. Like, how often will they autonomously woohoo and... Just want to know what difference it makes. But that's the end of this experiment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.